How do you administer the intervention or the therapeutic? How's that done? Yeah, so it's a trust in panic administration. So that we consider as a standard practice at the ENT doctor. It's a thin needle that will be behind the tympanic membrane. And you go into the middle ear, you inject a gel form or a lipidic form. So something that will actually go on the round window membrane and by diffusion goes into the cochlea. So with CL001, we intend to do only one injection. And after one injection, what happens is that the drug is still in the cochlea, in our ear fluid of the cochlea, for 30 days at least after a single administration. So it remained a long time within the cochlea. And what we saw also with our drug, 35 days after the injection of our drug, you have a full recovery of the amplitude of the auditory brainstem response, the wave one that we talk a lot about that, that would represent, you know, if there is a decrease of the amplitude, the presence of cochlear synaptopathy. And we also see, and, and this is of course in preclinical settings, a full reconnection of the pre and postsynaptic connection. And we see a co-localization of pre and postsynaptic marker. So meaning that there's really a reconnection that functionally is translated into a better hearing in noise.